All right, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna keep working on BC Homework 11.1. I'm gonna do a few more geometric series examples. And specifically, I'm gonna be working number four through seven on, on that homework. Okay, but, so this will be just geometric series. And I don't have any pens ready. So number four is find the values of x that make this equation true. So I'm just gonna copy the equation and start talking about it. Okay, how much room do I have? All right. So. Or I've got 2x over x plus 1 equaling x plus x squared plus x to the 3 and so on. Okay. It's like find the values of x that make this equation true. Now we don't have any experience solving in like solving algebra equations that have a dot 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 in them. That's not something that we do. Okay, so it's like we gotta be able to do something else. We need a finite equation. So what we're going to do is we're going to say, all right, on the right here, I've got a geometric series, okay? And this is a geometric series with first term x and common ratio also x. So I'm going to, I'm going to get some color and start working on it. So I'm going to say, yeah, that the, okay, over here, I've got first term x. So the total sum will be x times 1 over 1 minus x. Now, this is making the assumption that the absolute value of x is less than 1. Okay. Uh, but, and I think there's only going to be maybe one or two values of x that make this true. And I just need to compare, like, verify that I'm not you know, making some sort of assumption that's not true. Okay. All right. And oh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm ready to go now. So I'm going to say 2x over x plus 1 is equal to, well, I can multiply these. Say it's x over 1 minus x. Okay. Then I'm going to cross multiply, and I'll have 2x times 1 minus x equals x times x plus 1. Okay, then I'm going to distribute, and I'm going to have 2x minus 2x squared equals x squared plus 1x. Then I'm going to kind of set this thing to 0 so I can hopefully solve it, and I'll get 0 equals 3x squared subtract 2x from both sides and I'll get a negative x. Now I'm going to factor this thing and I might bring it up here so I don't run off the screen. I'll say that that's 0 equals x times 3x minus 1. Okay. And that gives us x equals 0, which I feel like I should have seen that one coming. I, you know, I'd be like 0 divided by 1 is equal to 0 plus 0 plus 0 infinitely. But then the other one would be x equals 1 third, okay, from this equaling 0. And x equals 1 third is less than 1, so that will make the equation true. And so that's, that's really the main one. This is kind of a trivial solution. I mean, I don't really care so much about that one. Okay, number 5. All right. A n is a sequence with A1 equals 12 and A n plus 1 divided by A n equals 3 fourths. What does that mean? Okay, uh, if you're not seeing it, um, this is saying that there's a constant ratio between the next term and the previous term of 3 to 4. So that means that you know it's a geometric sequence with a common ratio of three fourths. But maybe you could multiply both sides by a n and say the next term is equal to three fourths of the previous term. Okay, and that like one of those ways you should be able to see that. Well, we've got a geometric situation. Also, you know, you don't have much else at this point in the unit, right? You don't know that much else about series yet. So it's got to be geometric. So I've got a first term because they're asking me about the sum from 1 to infinity of a n. OK, well, like I said, that's going to be starting at n equals 1 is a 1. So that's 12 plus 3 fourths of 12 is, I think, 9. 3, 6, 9, 12, yeah. And then 3 fourths of 9, well, that's, I think, 27 over 4. And then dot, dot, you know, so on. The, the numbers are going to get worse. I'm not going to have whole numbers. But I know how to find that sum, right? Since the common ratio is 3 fourths and the absolute value of 3 fourths is less than 1, I know that this total here is going to be equal to the first term multiplied by 1 over 1 minus the common ratio. Okay? 1 minus 3 fourths is 1 fourth. And if I take 1 divided by a fourth, 
That's like multiplying by 4, so I got 12 times 4, and that's going to be 48. All right, number 6. This is another one that's kind of like a disguised version of a geometric series. Bn is a geometric sequence of positive terms. It whoops, that's off there. Okay, these are two facts that they gave us. And B1 equals 9, and B3 equals 4. Okay. Find the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of Bn. All right, we can do this. I'm going to say, all right, it's going to be the first term times 1 over 1 minus the common ratio. But I don't know what the common ratio is yet. So I've got B1 equals 9. Then I've got B2. And then I've got 4 is the sequence, right? And B2 is 9 times R, OK? And 4 is 9 times r times r again. OK, so I'm thinking that 4 equals 9 times r twice. So 4 equals 9r squared. We can go up here and say r squared equals 4 divided by 9. OK, and now it's like, OK, well, that means that r, I'm going to take the square root of both sides. r is either 2 thirds or negative 2 thirds. But I feel like r is going to only be positive 2 thirds because bn is positive for all n. Okay? Right? If r was negative 2 thirds, then I would have b2 equaling negative 6. But they said all the terms are positive, so I know it's got to be positive 2 thirds. Now I can say that this total is the first term times 1 over 1 minus that common ratio. 1 minus 2 thirds is 1 third. 1 divided by a third is 3, so that's 9 times 3, and that's going to be 27. And I've got one more, and this one's going to require a calculator. Okay, hopefully you saw that when it said approximate it to three decimal places that I was not asking you to do that by hand. I hope you didn't try. Okay, so number seven is f of x. Okay, so it's kind of a power series. <laughs> Maybe um, the sum, not really. N equals one to infinity of sine squared x to the nth power. Okay, this series, and I think it's going to converge just as long as x isn't like pi over 2 or 3 pi over 2, right? I think that anything else, or, you know, x values that are equivalent to pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2 in a unit circle sense, you know, this is going to be a geometric series because it's number to the nth power, okay? So I'm going to have. All right, f of 1. Oh, going here. I'm going to say f of 1 is where I'm just going to plug in 1 for x there. Okay. So sine squared 1 is the value of the common ratio. It's that number that's getting taken to the nth power. It's also the first term, right? Because if I plug in n equals 1 to get that first term, I'm just going to get sine squared 1. So I need to figure out what sine squared 1 is right now. Okay. So I'm going to get out a calculator. Bring it up right here. Okay. There's not so much glare. I'm going to make sure I'm in radian mode. And I'm going to take sine of 1, and then I'm going to square it. Right? That's how we get sine squared on the calculator. And then I might store that number into A, okay, just so I can, I can work with it. Okay. We know that the total. Okay, be oh, also, sine squared 1, that's the common ratio, right? And that's 0 0.780, which is between negative 1 and 1, so I know this is going to converge. Since it's converging, I know I can use the formula. This total is equal to the first term multiplied by 1 over 1 minus sine squared of 1. Okay, so we got ourselves a formula, but that would be hard to compute by hand, right? Because we don't know what sine of 1 is, much less that thing squared. 
Luckily, we've got the computer. We've got a there. So this is going to be a times 1 over 1 minus a. In fact, I could maybe even just make it a fraction. a divided by 1 minus a. And I'll get 2.425 or 2.426. Right, and that's going to be all I've got for this video. Um, I've got other problems. Um, you know, I've done a bunch of them before this in the, in the first part of this video. And I've got a couple of telescoping series that I'm going to record separately because that's not an official AP Calculus topic. And so I'm just going to say I think that's going to be enough for us today. So thanks for watching.